Hey everybody, Ashton here with Gen Sense with another fragrance review. So this is going to be the last review you see underneath this willow tree. A lot of you are aware, but I am moving. So you won't see this backdrop again unless I decide to freak out the people that move in here and show up randomly one day and set up. I feel like the fragrance we're taking a look at is a pretty decent send-off for the willow tree. We'll always remember you, willow tree. That fragrance is Dior Sauvage Very Cool Spray. All right, let's go ahead and check out this presentation. So you can see on the box here, you have the name of the fragrance, Very Cool Spray, Fresh Eau de Toilette 100% Air Spray. So this is an Eau de Toilette. It's not a deodorant. It's not a body spray or anything like that. On the side of the box, you have a few things just basically about this new bottle. This says it's unbreakable, that you can spray it upside down if you wanted to, that it has a cooling effect and that it's 100% air-based, not aerosol. You have a little more information on the fragrance on the back here. On the bottom, you have the batch code printed here. And if you open this flap, you can see the Christian Dior B there. Now the bottle is a little bit reminiscent to the Yves Saint Laurent Reeve Gauche can. So this is a tin can. The cap is not magnetic, but it does click into place. On the inside here, which uh, you can't really make out, the Christian Dior B is inside there as well. Now, this is a continuous spray, so if you hold it down, it will just keep spraying like an Axe or Lynx body spray can. And it sprays out a ton, so I'm gonna show you that here really quickly. I'm just gonna press it down a little bit. And yeah, you can see there, soaked my hand. It sprays out a ton of juice. So if you hold that down, you are going to go through a ton of fragrance. There's a little more information on the back. This is pretty much the same thing that's on the back of the box. And then on the bottom, you can see the batch code printed right here on the tin can. That is the presentation for Christian Dior Sauvage Very Cool Spray. So, I mean, what can you really say about Sauvage? It is super, super popular. It's like today's Aqua de Jo. What Aqua de Jo was back when it was released, that's what Sauvage is now. Everybody owns it. And it's kind of divisive. Some people love it, some people hate it. It is what it is. It's a people pleaser, it's super easy to wear, and most ladies love it. And maybe you've noticed my Bentley Fragrances hat. I got that from Incenza.com when I ordered this. I had to order this from France, and in the box they included this very stylish Bentley Fragrances hat, so that's why I'm wearing it. If you look at the note breakdown between Sauvage and Sauvage Very Cool Spray, you'll notice the only difference is added grapefruit in Very Cool Spray. And you do get a little bit of that grapefruit off the top. It makes it a little bit fresher. It's supposed to give you kind of a cooling effect. That's why they named it Very Cool Spray. I'll also say that the metallic feel of the original Sauvage is toned down a little bit. Now that's not saying that this is completely non-metallic because it definitely still is. It's just rounded off a little bit. And once it hits the dry down, honestly, this is like 95% Sauvage. It's super similar. It's windy. So just like the original Sauvage, Basically, the opening is ambroxan, bergamot, and this time added grapefruit. As it dries down, you still have that metallic ambroxan feel that dominates the entire fragrance. You have a little bit of pepper that comes in, kind of riding underneath the ambroxan, and the smallest, smallest bit of cedar in the dry down. That's basically it. This is super, super, super similar to the original Sauvage. Honestly, if you have the original Sauvage, this is probably going to be completely redundant unless you're just a huge Dior Sauvage fan. And one of the things that they've kind of been touting with this is the new bottle, which we went over in the presentation. Now this is more portable. I mean, you can throw this in a bag much easier than you can a glass bottle. It's easy to take out and spray if you want to refresh through the day or after the gym or something like that because it's basically like an Axe or Lynx uh, body spray can. To put this into the simplest terms possible, if you like the original Sauvage, you'll like this too. If you don't like the original Sauvage, you won't like this one. If the original Sauvage gives you a headache, 
which some people say that that one does, then this will likely give you headaches too. Now I know I said at the beginning that it's toned down a little bit, that metallic note, the, what some people would call the harshness of Sauvage is toned down a little bit, but not so much that it makes a huge difference. Now if you don't have the original Sauvage, you should maybe check this out once it hits stores in America. Um, I wouldn't buy this from France unless you're just a huge Dior Sauvage fan and you feel like paying the extra money that it's gonna cost to get it over here. My wife really likes this, but she also likes the original Sauvage, so that's to be expected because this is really, really, really close to the original Sauvage. It's almost hard to call this a true flanker, like a brand new fragrance. They basically just took Dior Sauvage, made a couple small tweaks, and then re-released it. I'm one of the people that the original Sauvage performs really, really well on. This one also performs well on me. I mean, it should because it sprays out so much juice when you actually spray it. Um, but it is a little bit weaker than the original Sauvage on me. In terms of when you would wear this, basically anywhere that you would wear Sauvage. It's super versatile. You can wear it to the office, you can wear it to the club, you can wear it to school, you can wear it at day, you can wear it at night, you can wear it in almost all seasons. So it's, it's hyper versatile. Uh, age range. Again, exact same age range as Sauvage. All right guys, that's my review on Dior Sauvage. Very cool spray. Uh, really, this one probably is going to appeal most to people that just like the design of the bottle. They like the ease, the portability. Um, that's probably who this is really gonna be for most. If you don't have the original Sauvage, maybe wait until this comes out in the US, check it out, see if you like it. If you do have the original Sauvage, this is gonna be about as close to redundant as you can possibly get. Um, since it's really not a very original fragrance, it's hard for me to rate this one. It's basically Sauvage in an aerosol can. Oh wait, an air can. This is not aerosol. All right guys, those are my thoughts on Dior Sauvage. Very cool spray. Uh, if you're interested in picking this up immediately, I'll leave a link in the description where you can buy this from France. Um, if you're kind of unsure, I would just wait until this hits stores in America so you can check it out yourself and uh, make up your mind if it's something that you would really be into. As always, thank you for watching. Goodbye to the willow tree. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.